Hey, we're the Morning Drive, and uh, we're going to discuss Red Raider basketball today. It's season's getting underway, and, and a lot of anticipation and, and really questions about can this team make an NCAA tournament. So to make an NCAA tournament, here's what I think are some keys, and Jamie will give his. I think Pop has to pop. Pop Isaacs has to star out for you and has to be a, a leading scorer for you, but he also has to be a good teammate and making sure he gets the ball to people that are open and not just try to carry the whole thing himself. I think you got to win when you're supposed to, especially in this early going. Can't afford any stumbles. And maybe if you could pick up a win or two in the Bahamas, that would really set this team up for some nice wins going into Big 12 play. Speaking of Big 12 play, find a way to go 9-9. Nine and nine, And that way you kind of eliminate all doubt before you get to the Big 12 tournament. Transfers have to be a factor, and a couple of them that I think could be a factor for you. Joe Toussaint, who's played for a number of schools, most recently West Virginia. We saw what he could do one night here in uh, Lubbock last year. And then Warren Washington, he's a seven-footer. He could be a defensive specialist for you, get a lot of rebounds, and help the Red Raiders get their offense going. And then finally for me, no locker room drama. We saw a lot of that last year in the coaches' locker room, in the players' locker room, and it all kind of filtered out onto the court and into the stands, and it was just an absolute mess. All right, for my top five, I'm going to go start at the top with number one. I mean, Chuck mentioned it. You only have five players returning. you got a bunch of newcomers. You have to find a way to gel in a hurry. I mean, this is a chemistry project the Red Raiders have going on. So find a way to get everybody to play together, gel together, and and you can't wait too long. Uh, So figure out a way to get that done in a hurry. Number two on my list, Pop Isaacs has to be good. He's got to score for the Red Raiders to be a good basketball team. We all know his potential and his ability. He's got to show even improvement from a season ago when he was really, really good as a freshman. I'll take that a step farther and say you need to find consistent number two and number three scores. It can't just be about Pop. And uh, I think you got plenty of good options there. Uh, Chance McMillan is the guy that I'm going to look at and say I think he's got the potential to be their number two scorer. Uh, but uh, right now you're, you're kind of searching and wondering who those guys are going to be for the Red Raiders. Number four on my list, defensive rebound. Coach McCaslin has talked about wanting to push the tempo, want to be able to score in transition. You can't do that unless you're really good as a defensive rebounding team. That has to get done. And number five on my list, we need consistency from the point guard position. You need somebody that can create for others and make these teammates better. I think that's something that's been lacking for the Red Raiders the last couple of seasons. All right, so those are our keys. We'll save these and see if they are the keys to a season that will maybe land you in the field of 68 come March.